So what is mountain top removal mining? Why is it used? What are the issues it raises? Well, it's a fairly complicated topic. I'll use coal as an example, but it can be used for other resources as well. To get the subject started, we need to look at how the rocks actually formed and what are the methods of actually extracting the resources from within the rocks. Well, sedimentary rocks are laid down over millions of years. And each layer of rocks that's laid down represents what was going on at the surface of the earth in that particular area at that particular time. So if a layer or a seam of coal to be laid down, there needs to be large amounts of plant life that didn't properly decompose. A key factor in this lack of decomposition is fairly rapid covering of a layer of dirt, sediment, or even something like volcanic ash, which all reduce the amount of oxygen available for decomposition. So a coal is formed in bands or in seams between other layers of sedimentary rocks. One of these coal seams is near the surface, it's relatively easy to dig it out. However, these seams are underground, you can have to dig a shaft down into the rock and then along the seam, leaving the rest of the rock in place. This course is difficult and sometimes dangerous, and even after the coal has been removed, the area above the mine may subside or collapse due to the gaps in the rock where the coal used to be. And the other alternative is something called strip mining. They basically remove layers of rock between the surface and the coal. They just continue the process to remove the coal. This takes a very large amount of initial effort. However, once you're actually down to the layer of coal, it's actually far easier to remove than underground mining. This does mean it's a very large amount of rock that you need to find a home for. Now, some of it may be used in things like construction. But normally, the eventual home for the removed rock, once all the coal has been removed, is basically put it back in the hole that you've just dug. This game can be planted over in time. It may be difficult to know if there was ever a mine in that location. Now, all that being said, this form of mining does produce massive amounts of dust, some of which can contain toxic elements. Also, it destroys all the native wildlife that was in the area above the coal, can pollute nearby rivers and streams, and also, the removed rocks need to be put somewhere while the mine is a massive scar on the surface, both during the mining and for a number of years after, before eventually it rewilds. To avoid the delay, companies may replant the area with fast growing plants. However, these are likely to be non native plants, again, impacting on biodiversity and the general environment. Now, mountaintop mining has been called strip mining on steroids. Here you literally remove the top of a mountain or a large hill to get at the coal. The advantage here for operators of the mine is that it's a convenient place to put what is known as the overburden or the top layer of rock. And that's in the natural valley next to the mountain. So each layer of rock is removed, piled into the nearby valley. Once the coal is removed, the mountain can be rebuilt, only slightly smaller, using the rock in the valley. Then the process can be repeated with the mountain on the other side of the valley. And this process uses far less manpower than the other forms of mining, and the owner can employ far larger machines in the extraction of the rock and the coal. As a result, mountaintop removal mining can be very profitable. However, the placing of the rocks in the valley can have a significant impact on rivers and streams. Mountain valleys are usually the starting point for rivers and streams, placing rocks from the mine in them like they pollute or silt up the rivers, harming both the natural wildlife, potentially altering the quality of the drinking water that any in human inhabitants may use downstream. Silting up of the rivers may also cause flooding downstream as well. The balance between the economic benefits of mountaintop removal mining and the resultant environmental impact where the main controversies in this technique lie. Is it worth it? That's for you to decide.